Hello guys, my name is Vijay Kumar Vaka. I am working as Senior Solution Consultant in Episero. Today in this session, let us discuss about uh, these uh, three things. One is uh, validation operation, the other two are like scopes and routers. You could see here uh, uh, in the palette. So one is like uh, matches, rejects, the other two are like scopes and routers. So this is the second part of validation module. If you haven't seen the uh, part one, you can go through that in my YouTube channel. Uh, so I have already created uh, uh, the flows uh, for to discuss uh, these three concepts. Uh, first, let us discuss about uh, matches regex. So if we if we see this flow, right? I have configured. Uh, I have created a HTTP listener here in the source section, and if you see the base path, right? It has value as validation. Okay, and it is up and running on 8081 port, and the protocol is HTTP. Now, I I have used matches regex uh, validation operation. So what it does, you know, uh, uh, based upon the value that you are passing here. Uh, okay, here I have passed uh, employee ID value here uh, using by enabling the expression mode, and this is the regular expression that I have uh, configured here. So my requirement is to um, validate an employee ID where uh, uh, an employee ID starts with three alphabets and uh, it will have at least seven uh, digits, like seven numbers after the three alphabets. So let's say if some company like uh, some MNCs are there, right? So uh, these three, like it's, it's like the short form of their company name and this is the employee ID, for example, these seven digits, okay? So this is my requirement. So I have to make sure that each and every employee ID in the organization are having three alphabets before the seven digits. Okay. So this, so for this uh, particular requir requirement, I have configured this regular expression, and uh, I have already deployed this application in the debug mode. So let me send this request. So this is the payload, and uh, yeah, let me send the request. You see, uh, we got 200 OK response. That means uh, it has validated the payload on this particular uh, value. And uh, uh, based upon the regular expression, right? It, it has, I mean, it validated, it validated the value and uh, the validation is successful. And that is the reason it has returned a 200 OK. Now let's say, for example, I'm going to add one more digit here and let's see how how it goes yeah let me click on s see you could see the error right here um, is not a valid under the terms of regular expression and the regular expression <coughs> sorry so what are the value that we have passed uh, I mean, the regular expression, uh, when it validated, right? Uh, so it got failed, okay? So you could see the response here. Now, let's say I'm going to keep only two alphabets instead of three alphabets, okay? So let me send the request. Again, this is going to fail. Uh, you see, it failed again. And let me click on next, and you could see the response like this one. So. It, it needs to have three characters or three alphabets and uh, seven uh, numbers for surely. If not, this is going to fail. So yeah, we got successful response. So that way, based on your requirement, right, you can configure different regular expressions here and you can pass the value which you would like to validate against the regular expression. Mm, yeah. Uh, the next two concepts are like uh, all and any. Uh, scopes and routers. So I also have created flows for these two. So let's jump into the demo part. <clears throat> so I mean, these two are uh, are like um, you will put a group of validations under these, like all or any, and and as the name. Uh, I mean, if you see the name itself, right? Uh, all means whatever the validations you can keep. You are going to keep within this all the validations should be passed 
if not uh, it is going to be a validation failure and if we talk about any write that means at least one of the validations should result into uh, success so that should that is sufficient um, uh, from this particular uh, scope i mean at least one validation is going to succeed that means uh, validation is successful and for all it's like all the validations or all the different validations that you are going to add here within this all right all of them should uh, should be uh, like should result into success or sh uh, all the validations should get passed okay now let us see <clears throat> let us pass some sample request for example uh, any let's first test any um, okay so this is the flow which i have created and uh, if you see it is listening on slash any path and uh, within any scope right uh, you could see two different operations one is is null so it is basically checking on payload dot edge the other is <clears throat> is true operation so what it is doing uh, it is checking whether the edge uh, that we are passing right is greater than 18 or not so this will result into a, a boolean right it will result into something like either false or true. Now let us see how it goes. Okay, I have de uh, deployed this in the debug mode. So let's see. So click on send. Now click on yes. So if you see the payload dot age is, if you see it is like is null. So but the age is not null, right? It has some value. So this will result into an error. So let me click on next. Yes, value was expected to be null, but it uh, but it is not null. Okay, that's the reason we got an error here. Now let me go ahead and uh, if I click on next right, it will result into true only. That is the reason you see at least one uh, one of the one of the validations got succeeded. That that is the reason um, the control has come here and you see any validation is successful will be printed in the console. If you see right in uh, see any validation is successful. So so hence it is proved that at least one of them uh, if, if one of the validations are going to uh, succeed right uh, uh, like we are going to it's a proper validation uh, if, if you use any it's like one of the validations should get succeed okay even if um, i mean n minus one are resulting into an error right and that's okay but at least one should get uh, succeeded so that is the uh, i mean if your requirement is like if, if you are fine to have or if, if you are if you are like um, uh, fine to uh, what do you say have at least one validation successful then it's better to i mean go with any scope now let's see how the response uh, is resulting so because this is a successful response it responded with the payload because we have sent a payload along with our request now you could see 200 okay is the response okay um yeah now let me clear this now what i will do uh, i'll send something like uh, uh, i'll send a null value here let's say like this for example now uh, okay um, what i will do maybe i'll pass some uh, some string value and let's see how this will result into okay so this is not null right so this will throw an error and here also we, we are not going to get any boolean after evaluating that expression right we are not going to get any boolean now we got two errors uh, on these two operations okay that means uh, all the validations within the scope they got failed so so you see now we, we have an error here and it is it will be going to the valid i mean error handler and you see here <clears throat> um okay it is like mule expression it says um yeah because um here it is expecting um something like number but because the comparison is ha happened between a string and a number right it resulted into a mule expression error but you have seen right um if both of the validations are failing right uh, uh, it's a validation failure like at least one of them should result into success if both both of them are failing that means um, the validation is not properly done okay 
um, yeah um, what I can do is null I can pass a better value so that um, okay we'll go with <coughs> sorry we'll go with uh, all and we'll see how it goes so close this close this and we'll go with the all so as i told you this is already deployed in debug mode so let me clear the console and uh, yeah before that let me discuss the flow uh, is not blank string so i am not i am passing a string which is not blank okay so this will result into true and is not null so yes this is uh, this value is not null right so both of them are going to result into uh, success or uh, validation passed right so let me send this request and if you see there should not be any error on both the operations yes so uh, now because both the operations both the validation operations result into uh, success right uh, it's like completely uh, I mean from this scope uh, the validation got passed like all validation is successful that is coming from this particular logger so now what I will do um, now let's say I'm going to uh, pass something like a blank string this is a blank string right now this will result into an error is not null is not blank string right this this will succeed is not null yeah so if I send this request let's see how it goes so click on send so send this resulted into an error because the input itself is a blank string but the the operation is like is not blank string so it's a validation failure and is not null so it's a blank string right so uh, it is not I mean this particular validation operation resulted into success because it is not null true this is false and this is true now because at least uh, I mean if one of them is going to fail within this scope right this whole scope is going to fail because it expects all the validation operations to result into success so let me click on next now you see here validation multiple uh, error type has come and it will go to the error handler so let me click on next and you see it has come here and let me click on next and you'll see that uh, the messages from uh, wherever we are going to get the validation failure right here we got the validation failure so the corresponding default message has come string is blank I mean as I told you uh, in the previous session right you can customize this particular error uh, um, message so you will get the uh, customized error response now let's say we have four validation operations within this all scope in that case let's say two of them or three of them are uh, going to fail and one got succeeded now uh, the three validation operations uh, they are going to throw some error messages and all the three messages will come back as the response okay because why because here I mean based upon the default responses uh, if it is an error right uh, we are uh, throwing back the error uh, description right error description so that's why um, we'll get all the three uh, error descriptions if uh, three of them are going to fail out of four validation errors so I hope you you understood this so so one thing that you have to remember right um, whether this is going to fail in all scope still uh, the execution uh, will continue within the scope so that's what I have written here you see for all and any the execution will remain the same uh, both will cover all the validations in their scope but all expects all the validations to be passed whereas any expects at least one of the validations to be passed so so that's what we have seen uh, in the debug mode and um, yeah so I hope uh, you understood uh, the difference between all and any and also when to use uh, matches resix and also as we discussed uh, a few operations right uh, in the previous session uh, so I hope 
we are good with validation module and as i already told you you can get the uh, i mean you can get this project and also the postman collection uh, in the in this uh, github uh, link i'll be posting this link in the description of this video as well so thank you so much for listening to my video